Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. The Life Size Fabric Sculpture Dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was making them, they would not stop talking to me. And this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a juicy, sensuous, provocative love story about human evolution. Yes, it is. But that is not what I want to talk to you about, y'all. What I want to talk to you about, I'm going to show you how to make planet Saturn. I don't know, and I'm going to go over some you know, Saturn magic, Saturn herbs, and gemstones. Saturn rules the zodiac sign Capricorn, and I think it also, I don't know if it rules Aquarius, but it's one of the, the uh, planets that's involved with it, but it is the taskmaster. It is it's a harsh planet, y'all, but anyway, um, for those of you who, um, some of you may already know this, but this ring, the Saturn ring, is created by ice and meteorites and um, some of them are the size of mountains and some of the debris is as small as a speck of dust. I am, it is so amazing and it whirls around the entire planet. The planet is actually a gaseous planet which is made of helium and I'm drawing a blank on the other on the other um, gas but there's just a lot of you know information about Saturn that I'm going to cover the metaphysical properties of Saturn while I'm showing you how to make this beautiful planet that will accompany the Capricorn doll in my handmade Oracle deck so you can't, child, you can't make a Capricorn doll if you don't make Saturn, because the relationship, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I hope you enjoy this DIY. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darlings. For this DIY, you are going to need a foam ball, um, a paper plate, or any type of sturdy cardboard or paper, um, bronze, yellow, and brown acrylic paint, or some combination of that color blend. Uh, this is what I'm using. A few toothpicks, a hot glue gun with hot glue sticks, of course, and a picture of the hexagon of Saturn. You can look online and type in, you can Google um, Saturn hexagon, and you will see the actual picture taken from outer space. I wanted to use that one because I thought the energy would be a lot more powerful. Or you could draw your own hexagon and put on the South Pole. And you're also going to need some tiny uh, stone chips or seed bees, anything small to represent the debris that Saturn holds into place. The rings of Saturn are created by rocks and ice and uh, asteroids meteorites, um, broken pieces of um, you know, planets and rocks flying through space and some of the pieces are as small as, a, as, as a, a piece of sand, a tiny piece of sand and other pieces are as large as the biggest mountain um, in, on planet Earth. So these are the pieces that make up the ring. Now the ring is very thin, but, but remember it's out of space. So I like for things to represent, to, I really like, if I'm going to make something, I want it to look similar to what it is really like so I can get a feel for what I'm doing. Because the rings are magical in the sense that the rings um, are these these beautiful circles where Saturn's gravity has pulled in debris and created something gorgeous you know what I'm saying so 
it's like it needs order it needs discipline so anyway these are the things you're going to need to to make the actual planet now Saturn rules Capricorn and it also rules Aquarius but I think Uranus and Saturn rules Aquarius but it is the sole ruler of the, of the zodiac sign Capricorn um, so let me just tell you some a few fun things about well, Saturn um, Saturn has 11 hour days so like the, here on planet Earth we have 24 hour days they only have 11 hours child uh, you cannot stand on Saturn Saturn could float in water because it is made of gas and liquid it doesn't have a surface and the materials that make up Saturn are lighter than water child can you believe that like yes it is a big gaseous ball made up of hydrogen and helium another interesting thing about the uh, planet Saturn is that do you know that when it rains on Saturn I know you probably already know this it rains tiny diamonds child mm -hmm. and that reminds me of the purpose of Saturn Saturn is known as a taskmaster it is uh, its purpose is to <laughs> teach us harsh lessons um, in terms of karmic lessons how to be more disciplined how to be more organized and it only rewards hard work now the reason to me Saturn is really hard I don't want to use the word hard but challenging to work with especially when you you know when we use magic or we try to woo the gods child to make our lives better well what's interesting is that Saturn is like it doesn't take bribes child it is it is not into magic that is going to put you in the front of the line without earning that spot it is not going to um, just give you a bunch of luck and you wonder how, how did you know how did I get this luxurious office in the corner with this big pay raise not without hard work Saturn only rewards hard work so when you're working with the energy of Saturn just remember you have to ask it things like oh so what bad habits are holding me back what am I doing wrong you know what can I do to improve my life what can I do to work harder what can I what am I doing that's preventing me from being all that I need to be now once you tap into that energy of wanting to be your highest and best self how to be more organized how to be more disciplined this is when Saturn steps in to give you assistance so it rules my my zodiac sign I don't want to say unfortunately but you heard the, the statement about diamonds and how um, you know when you see somebody who's very successful a person who's come from nothing to something it's like you take you know um, earth and it over time from the pressure it turns into diamonds that's what that reminds me of uh, the fact what well, it is a it is a scientific fact that it rains tiny diamonds because I think it's something about it's the pressure the heat pressure inside of the planet so when there's water it actually <laughs> rain diamonds but I think it's a metaphor also for humans so if you're willing to work hard and if you can withstand the pressures and the trials and tribulations of planet earth with grace and dignity that you would turn into a diamond Saturn um, I'm sorry it is the planet with the most moons it has 82 moons yes child of all the planets in our galaxy it has 82 moons it is the sixth planet from the Sun and it is the second largest we have sent spacecrafts to observe Saturn um, the Cassini spacecraft Pioneer 2 and the Voyager 1 and 2 they both visited planet um, the Saturn planet so I thought that would be interesting just so you'll know that we're not just making this thing up okay and like I said before the rings are chunks of ice and rock meteorites asteroids and the size range from a grain of salt into an enormous mountain so now I am just putting on my ice and my rocks and my my uh, grains of sand it's various sizes of debris that is collected from the cosmos which create those beautiful rings and to me it's again we're talking about that structure child so here's some metaphysical information about Saturn Saturn actually gives our life meaning and structure um, Saturn is the planet 
of limitation, rest restriction. Um, it is the planet of matter and the concept of time. So, you know, like it also rules like the agriculture, like there's a season where you plant and there's a season where you so um what you read well you know the whole saying when you can you can plant the seeds and then i think in the fall season is when you go and you can harvest that's the word yeah you can benefit from your work but in between that time you have to be patient with nature while it is growing and developing um, it needs commitment saturn like i said saturn is not into oh let me do a magic spell so i can you know just skip all of the fun stuff and all the hard work. No, Saturn is like, get out of here with that. It needs commitment. It needs you to be responsible. It needs you to set boundaries. I guess you cannot, you know, watch social media or, you know, whatever you do. We know we all have our stuff and still think that it is going to let you, I don't want to say let you earn an A, but you know how sometimes you think, oh, I, can, I don't need to study, child. I can just go over the notes real quick. Now, Saturn's like, no. If you're ruled by Saturn, child, don't cheat because you are going to get caught because Saturn is really, is a very, very, very hard disciplinarian on Capricorn. So if you're a Capricorn, you probably had a tough life. If you look at Muhammad Ali, if you look at um, um, Martin Luther King Jr., um, there's just, they're not, you know fuzzy type you know <laughs> easy roads um saturn is also all about self-control if we want to reach our goals we have to have a lot of self-control and be very disciplined so remember it is a, the planet it is the task master planet and here are some words when you hear these words this is the energy that saturn carries it needs structure it, you know, following the law, creating law, being responsible. It's about obligation. If you are a family person, you have to take care of your family responsibilities. You have to eat your vegetables first. You, everything has to be organized and structured. When you do this, it rewards you. It is the planet of ambition. Because remember, it's not about luck. It's not about, oh, my daddy left me a million dollars. No, Saturn is like, child, no, you're going to have to work. And then you have to work some more. It's also the planet of patience, of stability. Yes, but you have to be responsible, be disciplined, be organized in order to benefit from this stability. Saturn also needs you to be reliable and, also, and persevering and diligent. It's a very practical planet. It wants you to save. It wants you to budget. It is a conservative planet. So, if, you know, if you want to benefit from the energy of Saturn, it wants you to, you know, not be wasteful, not to... It's very traditional. Very traditional. Um, and if... Child, and I think I've said this before. Saturn likes to punish those who are not in alignment with their highest and best self you get yourself in trouble you're going to pay you're going to pay dearly though you know you'll see somebody else and they'll get a, a, a like a you know a little smack on the hand but you <laughs> you got a sentence you know what i'm saying um that's just a part of the inner it wants to teach you lessons quickly so that you can not make those mistakes again it rules the root chakra and the and the crown chakra. So the root chakra has to deal with our lessons on earth. Again, we're talking about the the seasons of the agriculture, right? You reap what you sow. So once you, whatever you put in the ground, that's what you're going to get out of the ground. So whatever is in your root chakra, how you spend your time, the hard work you put in, that is what you are going to develop over time and the, the crown chakra is there to let you know what your karmic lessons are you know what you did well and the mistakes that you've made and which how you can improve with saturn success can only be conquered through hard work and discipline don't forget this okay so the diy saturn planet spell that i'm going to show you how to do towards after we finish making this beautiful planet remember it is only going to help you remove the things in your life that are not working for you 
Saturn represents your, um, like I said before, tradition. Oh, also old age. And people who are ruled by Saturn also tend to age in reverse. You'll notice a lot of Capricorns, they tend to look younger than their age because when they're young, but when they're young, they look older than, older than their age. So when you work really, really hard and you put your nose to the grind, Saturn rewards you with looking youthful because you have passed all of your your obstacles. You pass your test, and so you become lighter as you get older. Um, it's um those under the influence and it's kind of are bound to work hard. Oh my God, this is so true, child. If if you are a Capricorn or an Aquarius, you are yeah it, you're gonna have to work hard. That's just the way I'm. Yeah, we usually, we don't luck up on things, we usually are just hard workers and we're rewarded for our work. But this is the downside of the planet Saturn. It's associated with dep with depression and self-doubt because it creates strain and stress. So remember, it puts you under a lot of pressure. You learn lessons that other um people in other zodiac signs who are not ruled by Saturn they may get away with a lip tap on the hand or nothing at all but we we have a very heavy burden of the lessons on planet earth the the um metal for Saturn is lead child yes so we can understand the burden of all our decisions and if you can't handle sometimes the strains and the obstacles that Saturn will put in your path it, it, it I'm sorry it brings about a lot of depression self-doubt um, because you just feel like the world is on your back now at the South Pole of Saturn I found this very interesting there is a hexagon child that you know this is the actual hexagon of Saturn this picture was taken by our spacecraft isn't that isn't that amazing and a lot of scientists are still wondering like how can a planet in space have a hexagon at its south pole isn't that's it that, that is the act isn't that it? oh my god they say it's some type of cosmic lightning storm and they just don't understand it but what we do know about the hexagon is that it is the primary optimal shape that uses the least amount of space like this is the shape that the honeycomb is um you know when bees make honey in their honeycombs it's in the shape of a hexagon and then there's other spaces uh in nature where there's a hexagon there, there's something very mystical and powerful about the hexagon that has to do with balance and harmony in human life did you know that oh my god yes very 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 powerful energy about balance about balance and harmony and manifestation so make sure you put your hexagon at the bottom of your Saturn planet because I feel like you know you want to represent it as much as possible to feel the energy of this planet so now we are going to go ahead and move to the spell so what you're going to need is a black marker and I like to say use black because black is a protection okay now this is a spell to remove negative energy negative thoughts negative behaviors to protect you from people who are trying to interfere with you on your journey to success and I am showing you here some of you don't need to use every all of the items there's like a list of I mean there are so many items these are the ones that I had on hand so you have like the I think it's the shepherd's purse myrrh um, pansy skull cap uh, these are those are the myrrh myrrh is one of my favorite um, sea salt I'm also going to use a black piece of cloth to for my charm bag and I'm going to put some gemstones um, garnet obsidian black obsidian I think it's only um, uh, black tourmaline garnet um, oh yeah and jet so those are the gemstones I am putting inside of my little charm bag you want to get a brown paper bag because the brown paper bag is like it's um, like uh, parchment paper it has a you know it's um, a natural product so and then you want to write 
out what you want to remove from your life. Now remember, when you are doing this spell, you can do what you want to do. Because I, you know, but I'm telling you to utilize the energy of Saturn. You want to focus on things that you want to be protection from harmful energy directed towards you. You want to neutralize all attacks like you don't want people getting in the way of your divine purpose you want to make your lessons clear to you because that's the purpose and you want to discipline yourself to complete your goals this is how you want to use this energy as you can see here I made two triangles right one on top of the other and now I am drawing my lines around it to create the hexagon shape this is a very 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 powerful symbol um, yeah, I've used this symbol on some candles and some other things, and I'm telling you things manifest. So what I'm doing here is I'm writing the glyph for Saturn, and then I am also going to write the glyph for Capricorn, and then I'm going to write some private things about things uh, I, I want to be self-aware of what I'm doing wrong or what I can do better, what's holding me back, um, protecting me from people with ill intentions that type of thing you really 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 want to think of removing things you want to remove right this is not a oh bring me money this is a what am I doing wrong with the money that I have what can I am I on the right path what should I be doing different with my life these are my gemstones this is like I said jed hematite um black tourmaline um garnet and then I'm cleansing it with with my sage stick and I'm also cleansing my cloth as well just you know to clear any previous energy from it and and my string that I'm going to tie it with so after I write my note which I like to write in private when you are putting your herbs inside of your cloth you know you want to talk to them and you want to ask for protection you want to ask for clarity I always ask for graceful gentle lessons child let me see it but you know be gentle with me I don't want it to be like oh my god what <laughs> so yeah so you just go ahead and you talk to the herbs and thank them for thank you for being in your, you know in your life for assisting you with these goals and child please excuse my nails in this video I was my um, auntie sent me some um, nail strips and I was playing around with them and you know but anyway oh yeah and pansy also so just ignore that all right and now the thing that's interesting about this is that I find that magic sometimes is timeless like you'll find yourself already once you just oh this black destroyer oil I'm sorry this black destroyer oil is some of the best oil I've ever used but it, again it's removal and protection but anyway, um, what I was saying is that sometimes when you work on a spell, you'll feel the results of it before you even start it. You'll start to feel yourself change. It's almost like it's timeless. Um, what is, oh, you want to do it on a Saturday because Saturn rules Saturday. Now, for me personally, I'm impatient in general, even though remember patience is a part of the Saturn lessons in life if you feel like you just can't take another day you know maybe you could do it and then just do it again on a Saturday but if you do it on a Saturday you'll have the the energy of the cosmos helping you if that makes sense so in another thing about Saturn about this is that you really want to listen to your intuition this is a you know if your intuition says okay you know this is not you know listen like it's a quiet voice it's that feeling you get really listen to it and this is a glyph that I made out of hot glue that I'm just gonna just light there or just light on my on my planet um, but this is a charm bag I'm gonna carry it around with me um, sleep with it and this is the planet and when it's when it's I'm gonna keep it under my planet just for it just until I can you know just settle into the energy that type of thing and now I'm adding a little myrrh around the ring of my planet because myrrh it just calms things down it calms it stops you from being depressed so while you are learning your lessons and while you are understanding what's going on in your life 
you're 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 asking the universe to be gentle with you and to let you see it clearly with wisdom and but also with grace. I really hope that you found this video um, what's the word useful and um, I'm looking forward to the lessons that um, I need to learn to to grow even more in my life. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.